Welcome, Phenomics an LGK61 and today I'll show you how to transfer files from the device to an SD card or vice versa. And to get started we will need to open up the files app which is located under the Google folder. And it's this icon right here. Up on it. And let's continue right here. So at the bottom you should see your two storages as I have internal and the SD card. Now if there's nothing visible here, if your list just ends at the apps, you want to tap on the three dots right here and you will see oh, show stored devices. As you can see right now there is nothing. Tap on show stored devices and it will pop them up on the bottom. So from here, let's go into internal storage. That's where most of the files are usually located anyway. And you have, as you can see, a bunch of folders. So uh, probably the most important ones is uh, things like DCIM. This folder will contain pictures and videos captured with the phone. As you can see, I have some uh, photos that I have captured just for this purpose. Um, then we can go back and you have a folder like download. For me, it's empty, but it will usually contain files um, that, that, for instance, whatever you have downloaded through web browser, or email it will be in here then you have things like m movies music notifications pictures podcasts ringtones uh, those folders are usually empty unless you downloaded something into them uh, or some specific apps saves onto them um, otherwise they will usually be empty so that's primarily where everything is located and once you find your file which for me it's just gonna be the photos like I said you want to select it so the easiest way to do it is simply hold it and it becomes selected as you can see with the blue check mark on the side and if you want to select multiple then once you choose one you can simply tap on additional ones quickly you don't have to hold them at the same way as the first one um, now for those people that want to move entire folder full of photos um, easier way would be just to get probably the entire folder like so and that will contain also all the files that are inside of it. Whichever way you do it, it's completely up to you. But once you have selected it, you want to tap on the three dots right here and choose either move or copy. Uh, each one of them will work differently, so move will completely remove the files from where they are right now and move it to the new location that you choose, while copy will create duplicates of the uh, files um, and uh, also move them to the location that you choose to. Uh, with the differences, well, with copy, you will have two sets of the same files now. So from here, select which one you want. I'm gonna stick with move. It will pop up the uh, window on the bottom and you wanna choose where to move it. So for me, the photos were located on the internal storage. Now I could change the place where they are located on the other internal storage, or I can also move it to something completely different like the SD card. Once you tap on it, um, on either one of them, it will bring you there and you'll see all the folders that are located on it. As you can see, the SD card has significantly less folders and I could either drop it into here, which looks like it's empty. Um, so yeah, let's just move it right here. And this will create a camera folder on, that, on the SD card. So let's go to the SD and there we go. You can see there's the camera now. And then there are the photos inside of that folder. So that is how you would move photos, videos, or any kind of other file from one place to another. And the process is the exact same for whatever you're moving. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.